Hey friends, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the querying of stone. The querying of stone is the art of taking stones of various sizes from natural rock. The open part of natural rock from which usual materials obtained is known as quarry. The purpose of quarrying is to obtain stone for masonry, for ba ballast in concrete, for road construction or railway track, or for any other purposes. Depending upon the nature and the structure of rocks and the purpose for which stones are needed, quarrying is done by one of the following four methods in common use. Excavation, wedging, heating, and ballasting. Blasting, sorry. First, we need to understand a few points about the quarry. Uh, these are very important points. The required, required uh, building stone should be available in sufficient quantities at or near the surface of ground. Sufficient labor at cheap rates, cheap rates should be locally available. Ample means of communication should be available there. Power should be cheaply available where, you, where the querying is done. Sufficient quantities of clean water should be available at and uh, all are year round drainage of rain water should uh, present no problem at all site for dumping of refuse uh, should be easily available nearby there should be no permanent structures uh, near in case of quarrying by blasting this is all about the site and its location where the quarrying is to be done so these points should be remembered and kept in mind. These are important points. So we are going for uh, for our first uh, method of querying, that is the excavation. The this method is employed when stone to be quarried are lying buried in earth or under loose urban shawls. Uh, the tools used are shawls, pickaxes, hammers, chisels, etc. are made of uh, made used for the purposes. These so these all are made for the purpose of quarrying by the excavation. Then comes the wedging. Wedging is suitable for requiring soft stratified rocks. The operation is started near a vertical phase in absence of which one is created by cutting a channel in it. Then 10 cm to 15 cm deep holes uh, about 10 cm apart are bored or drilled along the boundary of the slab to be quarried. Steel plugs are then struck with the heavy steel hammers simultaneously in all holes in a row. Use of steel feathers with plugs is to be preferred. It will split the slab along the line of holes drilled. In case of soft rocks, uh, same result would be achieved by hammering in lightly dry wooden pegs uh, in a row of holes and then pouring water over them so that they can and uh, they expand on becoming wet thereby ex exerting forces enough to cause a creak along the line of holes this operation when repeated all along the uh, all, all along the uh, periphery of uh, would detach the slave sledge hammer blows on wedges placed at the joint of two layers on an exposed face of rock shall uh, detach the slab completely. It 
which could then be taken away on trolley or rollers. By this method, slips of required sizes could be queried uh, uh, with minimum of wastage. The met this method is suitable for acquiring costly stratified rocks. So this was all about the waging. Now we go for the heating. This is uh, this method is suitable uh, where only smaller blocks of more or less regular shape are required and required. And uh, suitable rocks buried in horizontal layers of uh, not much thickness are to be quarried. It consists uh, in piling a heap of fuel on a small area of exposed face of rock and burning a steady fire for some hours. It results in uneven expansion because of uneven heating of two layers and consequent separation of upper and lower layers. The separation is indicated by a dull bursting sound. Separated area can be uh, ascertained by noting the hollow sound and stacking the area gently with a hammer or with a crowbar. This was about the heating method and then comes the blasting the blasting is common method and uh, uh, blasting is querying uh, it is uh, the querying stones with explosive materials blasting may sometimes have to be done with to excavate uh, foundations for buildings roads uh, etc uh, and for the tunneling as well uh, but uh, the purpose of blasting for acquiring is to loosen the large masses of rocks and not to violently blow up the whole mass causing the breakage of stones into small pieces of no use the separation um, uh, the, the operation of sorry for that the operation of blasting continues the boring and drilling of holes charging them with some suitable uh, explosive and then firing the charge and um, various implements uh, used in quarrying are the uh, jumper or boring bar scraping spoon primary needle uh, and the tempting bar uh, scraping spoon uh, spoon is uh, these are the uh, all, all, all the tools used in blasting method so the scraping spoon is an iron rod uh, having having a circular plate attached to one end and other end is provided with a loop to facilitate handling uh, it is used to take crushed stone out of the hole and other tool is primary needle a primary needle is a thin copper rod pointed at one end provided uh, provided with a loop hand uh, handle at the other end after filling the hole with explosive, the hole is filled with tamped earth. This needle is kept in center so that no withdraw withdrawal is uh, no withdrawal. It provides uh, a passage for insertion of a fuse of uh, fuse of fuse to cause explosion. Tempting bar is a heavy bar road of 10, 30, 10 uh, millimeter to 15 millimeter in diameter which tempers a little it ends and is used for tempting the material used for filling the hole generally two workmen operate the jumper jumper is another instrument one a man guides the lower end uh, to some point whereas the other one strikes it down with a first while standing while striking he turns uh, it's now and then while jumper is striking in it again and again this water softens uh, softens the rock and makes the crushed rock into a fine past which is taken out frequently with a scraping spoon jumper is some um, a more effective and boring or nearly vertical hole boring bar has to be used for drilling an incline or uh, an horizontal hole. Uh, one man holds the cutting edge against the rock and turns it again and again, while two workmen strike its flat and with the hammer. The diameter and the depth of each hole depends upon the quantity and nature of rock to be loosened. The type 
and quantity of explosive used. That's it. Handling of holes are explainable. Uh, is the ver mo mo most commonly used method. But drilling by machine stun when uh, large quantities of hard rocks are required to be explore, uh, exploited in a short time uh, or it's used internally. This was about the uh, blasting and, and there are the precautions because uh, the blasting uh, uh, is uh, more dangerous okay there are the materials used uh, for the blasting as well uh, like the uh, gun cotton or dynamite dynamite is used uh, in uh, the blasting and uh, gunpowder uh, which is gun cotton powder uh, is a mostly mostly and commonly used and there are other materials as well uh, we'll discuss them again uh, later on so the precautions uh, done during the blasting the blasting operation uh, should not be carried out in uh, evenings or in the early mornings it should be done at a fixed hour made down to the public it's uh, it's for uh, for the good of the public before actually firing siren should give timely warning to a workman and others to facilitate uh, to to retire to the safety or, or come to the safe places Red danger flags should be permanently displayed at a safe distance of about 200 meters around the area of explosion. No person except those who have to light the first first should be allowed in the, in the danger zone till the explosion has taken place. Responsible person uh, should, uh, should satisfy himself that all the char charges have exploded by comparing the number of charges fired with the number of explosions heard in case of misfire necessary precautions should be taken all fuzz should be cut to proper lengths before inserting them into the hole for making holes in um, in cartridges to take detonators detonators only uh, hard wooden pack should be used no, no, no metal implement should be, uh, should in any case be used for the purpose. Cartridges should preferably be handled with rubber or polythene gloves. That's all about the bl blasting. These were the methods uh, of uh, quarrying the stone. And thank you very much for watching my lecture on it. And please subscribe my channel and uh, uh, press the bell icon so that you can get the notification of my latest lectures. Thank you very much.